either through ucdsoccer.com or through UCD on Twitter, you will see an interview with myself and Pat Devlin where he discusses that very topic. Corner's whipped in, I'm sorry, I didn't see you taking it at the front post and the ball is in the back of the net. I think the corner might have been whipped in by Jack Ree, which is uh, about 10 or 15 metres inside the Cavantini half. Kerrigan's free to the far post. Um, and that was headed just wide by, I think, Sam Todd. Um, yeah, it looks like Harlan in a Cabantili shirt, but uh, over hit and uh, UCD will tidy up. It's back with Healy. Healy finds O'Brien. O'Brien finds Ozam out on the right. O'Brien to Doyle. Doyle to Kerrigan. Kerrigan, surrounded by two Cabantili players, loses possession, but Ozam tidies up to O'Brien. O'Brien finds Todd. Todd going forward onto halfway. Slips it inside to Keeney. Keeney sends it out to Ozam on the right. Keeney. Oh, and that was so nearly a goal scoring opportunity. Hayden failed to gather the ball properly. The ball bounced. It's one by Weir. Keane and Keeney managed to lose it to Labutis, but Harvey O'Brien will tidy up for the students. It's back with Jack Keeney. Jack Keeney sends into a channel for Whelan to run onto. Whelan cuts inside, slips it back to Ozam. Ozam sends it back to Whelan. Whelan has a shot from the edge of the box, doesn't trouble, trouble Adam Hayden. Adam gets down smartly and gathers and. Uh, well taken advantage of by Dan Blackburn for Cabantili down the right. Yes, indeed. And uh, Cabantili come again with uh, Kevin Knight. The ball's with uh, Vilius Labutis. And Zach O'Neill. O'Neill has a long range effort and it just whizzes past Lorcan Healy's left hand post. That was a real, a real chance for Cabantili. The ball for Kerrigan to run on to. And Kerrigan has been brought down in the box and it's a penalty kick to UCD. Yeah, Jack Hudson will not want to see that one back again because uh, he just got it all wrong. At the edge of the box. There's your little fun fact for the, from the rules from tonight. And some people thought it was just a decoration. <laughs> and Colin Whelan gets the equaliser for the students. And that is his 17th league goal of the season. Although Cabantili are still quite impressive. Sam Todd with the header clear to Paul Doyle on halfway. Doyle slips inside to Kerrigan. Kerrigan now through again and it's 2-1 two, two, to the students. What a turnaround there's been in the last two minutes. Yeah, incredible stuff. Declan, I suppose we were only discussing whether they deserved the first goal. Now we have to ask if it is the second goal, but it was a superb finish there from Kerrigan running onto it and burying it into the uh, left hand corner of the net. Uh, I think but that's probably been sixth or seventh goal of the season. Yeah. Um, yes, it is eighth. Eighth goal this season. Yeah, fantastic for you to the disaster for Cabin TV. Well, we, on, on this team sheet, we don't have a complete list of the technical staff that are on the, on the bench, so we, that's just the reason for our confusion as to who the candidates might be. Heaney to Higgins, back to Harvey O'Brien, to Ozan, right in front of us here. Plays it back across to Todd. New City trying to stretch the play, back to Doyle, back to Todd. Todd goes and runs through the middle, showing if Harvey O'Brien can make a run, so can he. He plays there to the right to Kerrigan. Kerrigan seems to have recovered from that knock to his left hand. Takes a little step over the ball, plays it back to Ozam. What can Ozam do from here? He plays it back for Kerrigan. No, he doesn't. He plays it back for Keeney, I should say. Excuse me. To Higgins. To Doyle. To Kerrigan. A little bit of space. Will he elect to shoot? He might. It's a shot from Kerrigan! That was close. That was nearly the 3-1 uh, lead that we actually have down at Ferry Thank 
again, we're in one of those scrappy periods of play where a ball changes hands every 10 seconds and you can't really say too much about it until somebody comes away. Like on this occasion, Whelan slips in inside to Doyle. Doyle slips in inside to Kerrigan. Oh. And Kerrigan has got his second of the match. That was absolutely lovely from UCD. Now that is one of the best goals I've seen him score in a good number of weeks. Uh, Colin Whelan knew he was going to get milled out of it there with the through ball, but he still went for it, played it to Doyle, and Doyle then played it in to Liam Kerrigan, and as you say, he has a second goal of the match, two goals, and he's been involved in every bit of play. That really was a brilliant goal from UCD. say that they lose possession down the right there it's uh, Keith Dalton ball in but it's cleared from ECD Todd with the clearance there we are about to see another substitution for the students we let you know as soon as we know who's coming off and who's going on looks like Evan Caffrey is coming in anyway I'm not sure obviously who's coming off at this stage but here's Kerrigan ball over the top for Whelan Whelan chasing it down it's himself and Mitchell Byrne running after that ball Colin Whelan wins a ball inside it's a great ball oh that was potentially the hat-trick for Kerrigan it was a yeah. very difficult yeah. one to finish in fairness to the former Sligo Rovers player I wonder if Niall Barnes any relation to Neve Barnes who plays for the DLR Waves must try and find out Keeney oh what a superb goal from Jack Keeney, illustrating exactly his prowess from the dead ball situation. Superb goal. Seventy third minute? And seventy fourth. Yeah, indeed. Uh, we just hope there's not uh, three late or two late goals conceded here, but a ball through the middle. Oh, dare I say, uh, Keeney is sniffing out that hat. Sorry, Kerrigan is sniffing out that hat trick for UCD. He's uh, trying to get on the end of a lot of things now, rather than being the playmaker that he had been previously, which is understandable. It's a good ball in. That's unlucky. It was a difficult one there for Jem Campion to hit, and he just kind of let the ball slide off his left boot, and it comes out into the corner. But Cabantini still in possession. Here's Knight. Good play here is Ben. With the shot. Oh, oh what a goal. What a goal. What a superb goal. Brilliant from Ben Feeney. I mean, sometimes we talk about UCD losing concentration, but that was just a, an absolute. We were directly behind that shot deck. Yeah. A brilliant goal. Super. It looked like it was going in for the moment he left his boot, in fairness to him. Yeah. Superb finish, Ben Feeney with the goal. And that's you could be looking, goals. you could be looking at a third. <laughs> you could. You could very easily be looking at a third, which will not please Andy Andy Myler. I have to say, concede three goals two weeks running, he would not be happy with that. Even though it results in six points, because you can't. It's deep. There's an opportunity. Harvey O'Brien has possession. He's not offside, so there's still a chance here. He tries to turn his man, but he can't. And the man who was just booked there, uh, Owen Massey with the challenge. O'Brien heads the ball in. It's all very scrappy. It breaks the chance. And I believe that is the hat-trick, is it? That is the hat-trick for Kerrigan. That is the hat-trick for Kerrigan. 79th minute. And Liam Kerrigan has his hat-trick at the Eastie Bowl. And uh, yeah, it was very scrappy. Cabantini needed someone just to hoof the ball clear. It didn't happen. And eventually it lands for uh, Kerrigan to finish at the back post. His hat trick. Owen Farrell is about to be introduced for UCD, as is Mahari McAvoy. We have uh, just under nine minutes to go of normal time, plus whatever is added on at the end. Well, folks, this is the second week in a row you could have seen seven goals at a match in the bowl. Perhaps you should consider coming to the next one. Yeah, indeed.
that hit the back stanchion and ended up outside the net folks. to um, number 15 Owen Massey back to goalkeeper Adam Hayden Hayden with the clearance up in the air and it's Weir with the header no one gets to it and it breaks eventually for Doyle Doyle's played through the middle for Colin Whelan is he going to get there ahead of the goalkeeper he is but the ball is just wide of the left hand post and another substitution for this one has gone right into the corner it's causing me to get out of my seat here in the commentary box because it is going to be a corner for Cabo they take it short corner initially by Burns plays it back this is an opportunity of the shot coming in and this one coming in from uh, Connor Knight uh, wasn't quite as spectacular as Feeney's earlier